Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. More violence from the occupiers. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Last night in Oakland, California, some Occupy Wall Street protesters tried to defy police orders and march on City Hall. At least five protesters were arrested, several injured, along with two police officers who were also hurt. Police estimate nearly 1,000 demonstrators took part in the clash last night. And in addition, more anti Semitism is surfacing among the occupiers. And I'll say that the Jews control Wall Street. Google Jewish billionaires. Google Jews in the Federal Reserve Bank. Google Jews and Wall Street. The America's finances is controlled by the Jews. Wall Street, the media, the legal profession, the Jews commit more white collar crimes than any other ethnic group on the earth. Now, in the face of that, a CBS News poll asked Americans, from what you've heard or read, do you generally agree or disagree with the views the Occupy Wall Street movement hold? 43% say they agree, 27% disagree, 30% unsure. Now, Talking Points believes that reflects the media coverage of the occupiers, most of it favorable to them, despite the violence and anti-Semitism. It's really incredible when you think about it. A good number of these people are radicals, no doubt about it, yet they receive gentle treatment from the press. CBS also asks the question, is money and wealth distributed fairly in America? 26% say yes, 66%, two-thirds of the country, say no, that it should be more even. Well, the key word in that question is distributed, because wealth is not distributed in America. There's no central authority that doles out salaries and investment returns. Either earn it, steal it, inherit it, or win the lottery. There's no distribution. The problem is that many Americans simply don't understand what's at stake here. The Occupy Wall Street movement is basically socialistic. It essentially wants the government to control who gets what. There's no question that capitalism isn't perfect or fair. Some people who get wealthy do so by exploiting workers. That's always happened. But the alternative is Cuba or Greece. Do Americans really want that? And who exactly are the bad guys here? Steve Jobs? He died holding $7 billion in assets. Is he a villain? Bill Gates, worth $59 billion. Is he a bad guy? How about old Warren Buffett, $39 billion on his sheet? Do we hate him? Do you despise Leonardo DiCaprio for earning $77 million in a 12-month period? How about Tiger Woods? He brought in $75 million last year. Should these people be put in jail? Should the government go to their houses and take their stuff? The primary goal, the primary goal of the occupizers is to demonize capitalism. Again, most Americans don't understand that, but it's true, and it's right before our eyes.